dude, that he went to before SmashCon. Right. Where he went, where he like got like third. And um, the strong corn who just moved to Michigan from Pennsylvania, actually. Oh, and um, they're ranked in Pennsylvania. So um, let's see how they do, actually. This is going to be a really interesting set. Yeah. And with, and with recent sets, it, it, it has been considered that corn like maybe Bayonetta's will worst matchup. Yeah, um, MK Leo has had success. Um, Corrin, or, uh, Cosmos, and Ryuga have ha both had very strong sets versus um, ba versus stronger Bayonetta's. Um, Especially Ryuga. I, I, I'm pretty sure at one time he took out like Captain Zach and someone else. Yep, um, he, he took out Captain Zach. Um, Cosmos has beaten JK recently. Oh no! Uh, That's gonna be the stock. Oh no! No. no. I, I, Corrin's actually pretty heavy. You may not have seen it, but, 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 but she got, got some, some heat on her bones. I, I, I'm kind of surprised I didn't see a grab there. Oh, just a jab. Oh, oh, man. But he misses the up smash, giving him another... Another, another lease on life. Right. And now, now this is a pretty good position for Corrin. A lot of her stuff is going to start killing really soon with all this rage. And, I, and not only that, Bayonetta just landed Witch Time twice, and it, if he... If Gemini wins another one, is it's not going to be much, to be honest. Oh, he tried to uh, guess I, that he was going to like spot dodge, because that covers spot dodge really well. I, 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 I can respect it. I can, I can definitely respect it, that option. Uh, good stall from Gemini with, uh, like, by immediate jump down airing. Or not Gemini, I'm sorry, uh, Red. Just a little more percent, and Corrin's throws are going to start killing. Uh-oh. Oh, I expected that to be a grab, honestly. To be honest, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of jabs where I would expect grabs from um, Bread. Oh, up throw. throw. That's, throw. That's gonna, gonna be, be the it. kill. Bread taking Bread the, just the holding on to all this rage. Still living. Yeah. Oh, but now, the back air's gonna take it. Is. Straight yeah. even stocks, game one. I want to say that this would be an upset if um, Brett is able to take this, but um, obviously the set's still young. Um, all right, good start. Gemini coming. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was, that was 54%. Oh, down tilt. Yeah, down tilt does not have enough hit stun to combo into itself at um, zero. And Gemini just really extending this lead. Got Brett all the way at 80%. Grab yeah, that's Corrin's um, one weakness. Her grab game is strong at higher percents, but um, at, she doesn't really have any row combos. So getting a grab at low percents doesn't really net her very much, other than like positional advantage. Kind of yeah. like, kind of like Fox, except Fox is like at least some good low percent strings. Yeah. Oh, that up smash is going to take it. Jim and I taking game one uh, of the set. Yeah, the first stock, um, Bread was able to hold on to the rage and make the comeback, but Gemini and I just didn't let Bread breathe at all. All right, um, I'm kind of curious to see. I, I feel like Lilat is probably going to get banned because it's a bad kind of weak stage for Corrin and Bayonetta loves it. Yeah. So it looks like the counter pick. We're, we're going to Gemini uh, I'm City. I'm sorry, I said that back. It was uh, Gemini's ban, that's my bad. We're going to Gemini City is actually very I I interesting. Because mm -hmm. we all know Bayos will lo love this stage a lot. Mm -hmm. But let's see what he can do. Oh, oh no! Oh, he yeah, on, on any other focus. character, that would have probably been it, but luckily Corrin's got that backer to get her back to the stage and extend her recovery horizontally. Yeah, but regardless, still, still that, that was, was really scary. Right. If like Gemini had just like say waited a little bit before he did the third hit of fair, that might have killed. But I think he just did fair, fair, fair. I don't think he waited. Uh, Seeing a lot of grounded side bees from Gemini. Uh, Perhaps maybe he just thinks that Bread isn't punishing them well enough. Ooh, he tried to uh, triple jump glitch it. Triple, use the triple jump glitch to get the up air and then get to the up B and then up B again. Alright, good spot dodge. Got the grab, but didn't really get anything off of it. Um, this is one problem I see a lot of Corrin's have, not just bread, is that they throw out a lot of options preemptively because, like, she doesn't have, like, a great, super great frame traps. Yeah, I, I have noticed that whenever I've seen four players too. They like to throw out certain hit hitboxes. Like, like, like neutral B. A neutral right. B, will, they'll do it in a read a lot of the time because they're ex expecting like a spot dodge or an air dodge, and then if they use the neutral B in a certain way, they can uh, cover it. 
Oh, oh, great reaction to the air. Oh, and man, the down air is going to take barely it. Barely taking it off the skin of his teeth. Gemini taking the first stock of game, too. But Brad, he is trailing by a lot. But yeah, <laughs> it, it's too it's just soon to count him out just yet. He, he has a percent on, on, on Bayonetta. He just needs to close the stock yeah, one way or the other. Yeah, he can keep him at the ledge. Oh, I expected him. I, 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 I was, think I was he kind of messed up by jumping back. He should have just jumped right underneath him and then up aired if you saw him air, um, witch timing. And that's not even because of no rage. He's not even going to kill yet. I think Brett is trying to think a little too much of back air as a kill option, but back air is kind of. It's not really great to use as a reaction to things because of how much startup it has. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely no, that's gonna be it. That uh, up smash the wrong direction was a little bit reaching, especially at, with Corrin only at 16%. Oh, almost I on the town city platform. Yeah, Brad is back is back in this. Oh, forward tilt, down tilt, up tilt, using all the tilts. Take him around the world with your C stick. <laughs> trying trying to put this man uh -oh. on tilt, but uh -oh. right now I think Brad is gonna be the one on, on tilt. But I take that back. All right, it's pretty looking pretty even. It's definitely better for Brad than the last game. That's very scary, but oh that man, again, he's not. Really, uh -oh. I think he needs to use the up air more. And um, Gemini getting really predictable with these witch time landings. I think he's almost landed with witch time out of his leg almost every time this game. But that back air is gonna seal it. Oh, unfortunately. Good showing from Brad, especially in game two, but um, just wasn't quite able to clutch it. Right. I would have liked to see um, Brad use more up air, like I was saying. I feel like it's a strong move for Corrin as a reaction to Bayonetta's witch time in the matchup, and it covers like entire platforms too, so even if Bayonetta mixes up where she lands a bit, it'll still get it. Right. But um, I was actually talking to, to, to Ryuga a little bit about the matchup, and he told me one reason why he believe, why he always believed that, that Corrin won, won the matchup is because of, of the huge up air. Is good for catching for catching people catching people in the air dodge. It, it kills super early. 